Good news for Grand Bahama. Good evening, Bahamas. I'm Jiminita Swain. The nation's leader, Prime Minister Dr. The Honorable Hubert Minnis on Grand Bahama today for the official opening of a mega touristic development in the Taino Beach area. In this report, the Prime Minister issues a challenge to the Grand Bahama Port Authority. Sabrina Brown has that. Begin. The $1.4 million Pirates Cove zipline and water park is now officially open. The nation's leader, Prime Minister, Dr. The Honorable Hubert Minnis, among those attending the colorful ceremony. Prime Minister Minnis applauding the Bahamian shareholders, noting that this development is a major accomplishment for Grand Bahama. It strongly suggests that investor confidence is improving. In addition, it was achieved by Bahamians. With <laughs> which again, proves that Bahamians are more than capable of owning our economy. My government seeks to encourage more of these Bahamian business ventures, particularly in Grand Bahama. 30 Bahamians are employed at Pirates Cove, and many others are taking advantage of opportunities as a result of this investment, putting a dent in the unemployment numbers on the island. The results of the recent labor force survey of the Department of Statistics for Grand Bahama for May 2017 to November 2017 does indicate some progress. We saw in Grand Bahama a slight decrease in unemployment rate from 12.4% to 12.1%. There are still too many unemployed, but the rate is trending in the right direction. The number of persons employed in May 2017 in Grand Bahama was 26,160, and that number increased to 27,240 in November 2017. Prime Minister Minnis says his administration is placing great emphasis on small business development in the country, and he's challenging the Grand Bahama Port Authority to help the government to help small business owners on Grand Bahama. Just recently, I've announced that all first-time businesses will be exempted from business license fees. I have also announced that all businesses with a gross of less than $100,000 be exempted from business license fees. And I know that the port loves Bahamians just as much. I am certain that the port will match the government. And just as I said to my Minister of Finance the other day, I'm going to say to the port, don't make me out to be a liar. <laughs> Wife of the Prime Minister, Patricia Minnis, and the Deputy Prime Minister, Peter Turnquest, were among those taking the zip line tour. Jesus! 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 Sabrina Brown, Zetanus Network News.